Yeah. Like you said, you know, they got those huge buildings down there, and we go inside, and you just get into smaller and smaller rooms, and in the middle of just this old dude with a beard sitting in a chair, and that's Mr. NASA, and he makes all the decisions. He's like a fucking architect. He's got a little pen that he changes the channels on the 100 TVs with. Of course, he's got a brain like this that's in a, you know, plexiglass bubble, but yeah. other than that, he's perfectly normal. Just like really smart, technical Santa Claus. <laughs> I, I want to meet him. I want, I want that I want to, to be real. technical. I so, can you make that happen? I really want that to be real. All right, NASA man is on the, the technical Santa Claus detail now. I'm sure that'll make it into this year's budget. This show took a weird turn all of a sudden. Oh, it made a weird turn. It started on Weird Street, man. It on Weird Street. Yeah, I know we're on Pine Street. It was a metaphor, man. But thank you for giving the joke the autopsy it deserved. The reason it is funny is we are not actually on Weird Street. This name of the street is Pine. P Pine can be pretty weird. I, 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 I'll let you figure it out for yourself. Weird puts a weird wood right that one. Oh, that's hmm, Pine. <laughs> I'll be advertising for a guitar player and a novelty music partner because apparently mine has become obsessed with wood. Which is my other George Michael cover band. Yeah, Thank you very much. That was a gay joke. I'm not afraid. I'll go out there on that edge. Uh, what are we going to say? Uh, uh, I don't know. What do you want to hear? That's kind of it. It's like we're gonna not sing that fucking song. We don't have we don't have a piano. We can't do the. Yeah, you know what? Here's read your fucking brains. I have a beard, but that's as close as we get to a Colton show. How much of that show you got? That's all. Monsters and squids. <laughs> Melancholy bearded dude singing about his sadness. <laughs> now we're going on a cruise with him and he's not going to pay us. <laughs> yeah, everybody tell him on the internet that we were talking smack about him down here in Orlando. <laughs> They're already yeah, he's right there. Already. <laughs> He's standing next to George Lucas in the back. <laughs> Both of them just got baseball bats. Uh, what are, so what are we singing? We never decided. Um, <laughs> now, you know what? We're not going to do that one. There were, there were lots of requests shouted out, most of them bullshit, uh, sarcastic ones, but were there any real requests out there? Your tail. Wow. Your tail. Uh, that would fall apart, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's another Colton song. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, we're gonna go to our list. All right, all right, all right. I'll ask for a Colton song. Do you guys ever perform the one that he wrote in your song? We have only ever performed that song with him on the cruise last year. Okay. How about you perform the one you wrote in his style? That's maybe we'll do that. That, that song. That is. Hey, you know what? Fuck Colton. We're gonna sing our Colton song. This song just became a fuck you, Jonathan Colton. Song. Yeah, this this will show him the song that we yeah. wrote in his style because we like his music so much. That'll show him. Uh, for those of you not familiar, uh, there was a songwriting contest that both we and Jonathan took part in, and this one particular round, the battle was to write a song in the style of your opponent. The opponent was Jonathan Colton, uh, and uh, Jonathan won. As alluded to, he wrote a song in our style. We'll just tell you its title, you will agree that he did deserve to win. Big Dick Farts a Polka. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but we feel like we were the, the true real winners. Um, we were the losers. But we feel like winners because we ended up with a song that we're actually proud to sing during our set. <laughs> this is our song in Jonathan's style. It is about a mad scientist who is sad. Therefore, a sad scientist. A slightly more specialized subgenre of scientists, <laughs> and also representative of about 84% of his uh, his musical output. 
He's in the, he's in the office next to Mr. Nass's. <laughs> NASA and Sad Scientist, that's a fucking comic book series right there. I'll call him Ed Brubaker right now. I would pay monies for that. Somebody seriously tweet that at us so I don't forget that. That's copyrighted, it's ours, you can't steal it. <laughs> Mr. NASA and Sad Scientist, wow. That's a HBO series is what that is. <laughs> so this is our song in Jonathan style, this is called Live. So long, every night and every day, been through hours and hours of research and dozens of graves. The perfect girl turns out was just too hard to find. So I had to make her, but can I make her mine? Will she be friendly or will she break free? Will she terrorize the villagers? Will she notice me? Hard work and science are what I have to give And all I'm asking in return Is that you live I know I'm smart But a madman's all they see Now there's finally a someone Who might love me for me She holds my heart like the way that I held hers The one from the cadaver Igor just disinterred Left nothing to chance now Double checked every stitch The Tesla coils are charging up Igor, throw the switch Hard work and science are what I have to give And all I'm asking in return Is that you For making a monster But what is a monster anyway? Someone frightening the mob Someone playing God Or is it someone too scared to understand So they stand in love's way Now here they come Sounds like the rat is roused again with their torches and their pitchforks about to break in. There's just no point in trying to make them understand. Only here by her gurney, holding on to her hand. Her eyes open slowly. She gives me a smile. Now we've got each other, at least for a while. Hard work and science are what I have to give And all I'm asking in return is that you live